<clears throat> Art in a traditional sense has always been something that I've struggled with personally. Like truthfully, I've never really thought of myself as being good at it. Like I'm never really thought I was good at drawing, painting, and I mean, heck for even a really long time, I never really thought my handwriting was all that good. Now I've worked on it to improve it and it's gotten better, but I'm there's still parts of it that I'm not super happy about. But anyway, recently my thoughts and feelings about my own art skills have changed quite a bit, and I'll explain why a little later. You see, I've learned that art isn't just about drawing or painting or sculpting. It's everywhere, and everything around us is a form of art. Like seriously, just take a moment, look around, pause the video, observe your surroundings. Are you sitting on a couch? Well, that couch design was someone's work of art. Not just the physical shape and construction of it, but even down to like the fabric and the pattern on the fabric. That was someone's artistic choice to use that. Or what about the room that couch is in? Was it arranged based on your artistic vision? And you might not have even realized it. Or what about the house that that room is in? You know, it was originally designed based on someone else's artistic ideas. Or the layout of the neighborhood that that house is in. You know, that was crafted according to some engineer's artistic vision on how they thought that neighborhood would be laid out well. It's seriously astonishing to realize that essentially everything in this world is a work of art, no matter how big or how small. And the idea of someone not being good at art, in a sense, is just impossible. Everybody's good at something. It's easy to overlook something as just being like another object sitting on the shelf, but that object is a work of art. For example, we all hold cell phones in our hands almost every single day. That in itself is a work of art. The apps on your phone are laid out strategically in an artistic manner, and we all take photos with our phone cameras, creating our own works of art with them. The movies we watch, the music we hear, and even the designs on our clothing are everyday examples of the art that surrounds us. We just have to look at it and learn to appreciate it. I mean, even down to like food can be a work of art. I don't know about you, but there's just something so satisfying about eating a sandwich that you took time and carefully crafted with love and care to make and then presented it beautifully on a plate maybe cut it in half and you know put a, a pickle or some chips or something alongside it neatly like seriously give it a try next time you make a meal or next time you make something to eat try to make it look pretty when you put it on the plate i know it sounds weird but like for some reason it always tastes better and then like even this video that you're watching is a work of art. You know, sure, it's obviously not a Hollywood production or anything, but there will be people that look at it in amazement and wishing they could do something and they truly can. I could go on and on and on with an extensive list of different examples of art that surround us every day, but by now I think you get the idea. And honestly, I hope now that I've mentioned it, you'll kind of start to see things a little differently in life and maybe appreciate the small little pieces of art that do surround us and make our lives beautiful. Because in today's busy society, it can be difficult to take a step back and appreciate the little things in life that do make it beautiful. I mean, just imagine for a very vague example, what if there were no colors in our lives and everything was a shade of black, white, or gray? While having only those shades can be a beautiful artistic choice at times, I truly feel it would get boring after a while. But if you introduce a splash of color, it'll really liven things up. Sometimes even just a single color. Now I want to circle back to what I mentioned earlier about my own struggle and feeling that I'm not good at art. For most of my life, I've really felt that art just wasn't something I could excel at. But after realizing that life itself is art, and everything surrounding us is a form of art, my perspective really shifted. I mean, writing, speaking, video creation, drawing, and building in Minecraft are just five examples of the different pieces of art that I've creatively brought together here to form another piece of art in itself. And the best part is it was all done according to my creative vision. This leads me to two famous quotes that can be applied to the art scene. Number one, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. And number two, you are always your own biggest critic. Like the next time you feel like you've created something that doesn't look good or you're unhappy with, you know, your final product or whatever, just remember these. You're always going to see the flaws in your artwork. And while you see them, the vast majority of onlookers are not going to notice them unless you point them out. And realistically, just don't point them out and nobody's gonna see them. <laughs> 
And additionally, you know, just because you might not think something's beautiful doesn't mean someone else won't. Everybody sees beauty in something. So if you ever feel like you're not good at something artistic, just remember that everyone has their own unique form of expression and you might just be looking at it from the wrong canvas or with the wrong paintbrush. Everyone is an artist in their own way, and it's about discovering what medium resonates with you. Whether it's drawing, cooking, writing, acting, or building in a digital world, there is an art form that aligns with your skills and passions. You just haven't found it yet. And don't forget, even the greatest artists weren't masters overnight. Leonardo da Vinci, one of history's most celebrated artists, spent years perfecting his craft. Your journey as an artist will take time, and that's okay. It's not about being perfect right away. It's about exploring, experimenting, and most importantly, enjoying the process of creating. So keep trying new things and give yourself the freedom to grow. You might just surprise yourself with what you can create guys thank you so much this video is a lot of fun to make it combined like i said multiple different forms of art that i've really been interested in for quite a while now i'm gonna try to leave a link to a lightmatica schematic file in the description if you want to download this and build it in your own world i hope it works i've never tried to leave a download link before <laughs> but if it doesn't work i just won't leave anything i'll, I'll let you know in the description but I want you guys to let me know in the comments about your journey with art and, you know, what type of art you enjoy, how you see things differently. I mean, what is your medium? I'd really love to hear about it. But anyways, until next time, don't forget to like, sub, share the video, all that good shit. And, you know, we'll catch you in the next one, everybody.